feel that's weird. Like Kyle <coughs> and Morgan and Does Kyle have a K? That's what they say. I've they never seen like it a in heart. person. A heart, that's what they it have is, a, yes. They have a matching a heart, heart. Sorry. Morgan a heart. has a K. Yes. Um Do I think that's weird? No. You don't I don't think that like is a or the matching rings, they have rings. <laughs> like, Do I think it's weird? Just yeah, like I don't know. I have a lot of good friends. Um, we don't have matching tattoos and Um Well I don't think it, it's weird under certain precedents. Like um what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I think it depends on the relationship and um, the bond and the strength of that relationship and what they value as far as like to signify that, right? And um, you know, a lot of things that I do in life are weird to people. <laughs> so it's like that's relative, right? To say something is weird. Um, or just, I guess that's the wrong use of the word, like indicative that to this. Okay, let me. Uh, okay, let that's me why I was like, well, situation. I'm just going to write this. Okay, indicative no, to weird. the fact that, you know, there's something, there was something more going on between them than just friends. I, I guess mean, that's what I'm trying to say. I, I don't think that my opinion holds any weight because the only people that can speak on their relationship is Morgan and Kyle. Like, those are the only two people who can speak on the details or what that their relationship consists of I'm literally an outsider I've never met Kyle this uh, you know <laughs> I think that's all I'm gonna say on that except see I see it opposite because I see like you were there dating this person Morgan during the time that they met so like in a way you know if you look back you could say I mean not that you want to but you could say well that now seemed weird at the time but now it makes sense that I know of whatever this is I mean you can't say what's actually happening sure but being there at the time I mean I think that it definitely showcases how close they are and um, regardless of of what their relationship consists of that hurt a lot to see that they had matching rings and matching tattoos I will say that like it hurt um, for what that's worth. That's but, worth a lot. Yeah. I mean, it hurt like hell. But um, just because, I, like I said, I do think that is indicative of how close they are. Um, so whatever capacity, whatever goes on behind closed doors, whatever, you know, that is, um, they're very obviously very, very close. And um, at one point she was my best friend. So that sucks. And they're closer than you probably – thought during the time you were together um perhaps probably so I could see why that would hurt yeah during the time you were together she also took her to the Americana Music Honors and Awards so they met like they were together right you guys were still together when Morgan took Kyle to that award ceremony um was wait when was that September 2022 oh no we broke we had just broken up just broken up so yeah. it was right after yeah because I yeah I were yeah no that I remember seeing that uh, we weren't aunt together um yeah that sucked <laughs> right I mean I just things like that I'm not trying to bring you down this road of having to relive all of this but it's just things like that to me and I think a lot of people that just don't make sense if you were dating and but I also, like I said, Morgan was very career oriented. So there was also things she would, man. You can say it. <laughs> just be honest. <laughs> Honesty is the best policy. Well, I, I'm also just trying to be, um, you know, because there's two, it's not just two other parties involved. There's also a whole ass family involved with the marriage and kids, right? So I'm never trying to. I don't want to sway people's opinions one way or the other because it's not my place to do. Um, like I said, the only people that can talk about their relationship is Morgan and Kyle. Um, so back to what, what was the, the, 
the question or what? I don't even know what my question was. I don't either. Was. I, don't I either. think, well, I mean, and I don't want to sway people. Oh, the American Music Awards yeah. or whatever that was. Yeah. Just that um, she brought her to that. And I mean, you would bring yeah. your girlfriend to I that. mean, Kyle has, you know, a certain level of fame and notoriety and following. And to say that doesn't play a part would be incorrect. So I think in my mind, it made more sense for Morgan to bring Kyle to something like that rather than like somebody like me, but like also we were broken up. <laughs> so um, I think I made a lot of allowances for things that no maybe a normal relationship, like that wouldn't be okay because of her career. Do you think to that point Morgan is, you know, I guess, using Kyle for fame? Oh, I, I, I don't think, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, I don't think so. I, I, I really don't know, actually. But Because one could argue now, again, I'm not really. They seem pretty close. <laughs> they, they seem pretty, pretty genuine, you know, like, I don't think that anything is for PR like I think that's been a lot of things that is like a narrative that I've heard uh, is oh this is a PR set I think that um, their um, relationship is authentic you do because mm -hmm. I mean that is yeah. out there because one I do that's my do. opinion yeah no I'm, I mean listen I mean you are an outsider sure but you are less of an outsider then. Right, I know Morgan. I don't know Kyle, of so I know to I this. know Morgan yeah. well. Right, so I don't know Kyle at all, um, but yeah, based on me knowing Morgan, I would say that it's authentic. And you don't think knowing her, she's the type that would use someone for fame. <laughs> um, Just in your opinion, I mean, you could ask me that about people I know, and I could be, I could go down the list and give you my opinion. I don't think use. She's not stupid, though. But I don't think she's using her. Because, like, for me, this is just for me, I personally don't know country music. So, technically, when you and Morgan met, I would say your name, to me, is the more relevant name because <laughs> I'm a reality, reality TV, TV person. Right, right. And so one could argue, although I don't know really well, the status of her career. Well, when that I met her, she was... Um, when I met her, I had no idea who she was as far as like status right like I honestly thought she was just some like unsigned just like play you know playing like I because the the songs and stuff that I listened to um like everything that I would find like on YouTube um were just like a lot of acoustic stuff and just very like she wasn't everywhere she was very still small right right and um unbeknownst to me it was like when I met her was right when her career was taking off. And so there was a lot of momentum and growth happening while we were together. And then now more so even now. And I don't know that I was like at that time even aware. So um, yeah, I mean, it, it's fair to have said that. Yeah. Right. Like you slipped into radio. Oh, this is someone from 